Um, uh, last time we were working on the Fortune Island treasure and all that. And now we are, well, continuing that in a way. And yeah, we're just, we're just going to continue on. Uh, we got almost all the way to round eight. So we're going to try to try to finish or or we got almost all the way to clue 8 and now we will be doing that of course or we will be probably getting the rest of it so the Fenholm scramble so we're continuing using this because there's quite a lot of off-road or dirt racing uh, races I guess that we still have to do so I will you know that I still have to do so. Be continuing on with that one. Uh, I don't know. Along with basically everything else. Um, yeah. So we will get going. It's just uh, you moving, you know. I don't really know. So I uh, got some food. It's nice, good. So I'll uh, keep going with this. We'll just get 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 right on going, you know. Now hopefully we can get this get this done relatively quickly because we still have three treasures left to go, which means we have quite a lot of a lot of things left to to work on. But you know, whatever. It's just kind of. You know, just gotta, gotta get through it, you know? It works. It's good. Ah, it's a wall. I prefer not to get third again. That, uh, generally doesn't help me that much. I mean, it is the first of three laps, so that's, uh, this is gonna, gonna be, uh, quite a distance. I would... You know, again, I would I would love to get more than third. So then I can, you know, guarantee that I will get to the next round in this race and not have to do more. Well, in general, guarantee that I will get to the next round in this race. I'm not totally sure because I, I don't remember exactly how much influence points or how, how many influence points uh, I get for that. I get for winning. No! Stop it! Go away! Racing professional here. And hit those apexes perfectly, you know. Banging those lap times. That didn't often work, really. You know, that didn't work out very well. Yeah, that was a finish. Which should hopefully lead me to the next one. Which I know that I have the car for this, so... Oh, that's that. I think it's actually enough. Yeah. Round eight unlocked. Hey, Nitro. 
Just got the call from one of my Horizon tech crews. They've placed the eighth treasure in a secret location. Instructions Obviously. are as follows. This Swedish knight is ready for action. The lakeside speed zone will test it. Another action. speed zone? I guess you don't need to get three stars I in this one. I took a call from my race setup team. What can I say? Oh, there's so many things. Qualifiers for the Island Conqueror round eight. Your events are now live. Oh, man. All right. Uh, okay, let's... We gotta, again, go... Actually, I mean, technically we don't need to go to the festival site. We just need to change cars, but it's like, whatever. Um... Well, actually, at the at the festival site, we can upgrade. I mean, I don't I don't think I need to upgrade it. Uh, okay, change car. Need to go down quite a ways. So, Swedish knight. Hopefully, you can understand what that means. Uh, that is, in fact, the uh, the the Volvo Iron Knight right here. I believe mine was uh, slightly upgraded before I bought it. So, I think that's maybe why I bought it because it was slightly upgraded, so I wouldn't have to do anything. Yeah. Yeah, and then of course I got the Summer Forts Thon. Okay, so I need to do the Lakeside Speed Zone. I mean, this is... That's Lady on the Lake. Ah, there it is. Oh, God. <laughs> Alright, let's go then. Uh... Ooh. So I believe this is the correct direction up here, so we need to get at least 50, I think. Oh, turn! What is going on? Oh, God, this thing is going to be a pain. Oh, Jesus. God damn it. Oh, this is gonna be a huge pain. A certain speed it seems to not like to turn! I have. Wha what the fuck, man? It's like. Okay, I have my joystick all the way to the fucking right, and it's not turning. It would also be nice if it wasn't fucking completely night. Turn! It's not turning! Got it. Good. Hey, Nitro. Solution confirmed. Transmitting coordinates. The treasure will be around here somewhere. Happy hunting. Okay, so it's over there. Which, uh... Yeah, okay. Alright, let's, uh, let's, let's not be in this car, because this thing is absolutely terrible. Let us, again, go back to the Ford. Yes, obviously. Come on. I'm gonna... No. <laughs> what? Whatever. Uh, okay, so we need to go to here. Basically, like, exactly right there. Um, hopefully I'm not looking in the wrong area. Fuck me. Okay, so we need to go this way a little bit. It being night definitely doesn't fucking help. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, I actually think we need to go down south a little bit more. Okay, see a little hill, which might be where it is. Oh, wait, I see it. That, that doesn't help. 
Then you go around the hill. That's not it. That's just funny colored rocks. What the hell? Again, it would be nice if it wasn't completely stupid night. Like, I can't see anything! I'm guessing I'm just kind of looking in the wrong spot, you know. This doesn't help either. Come on. Alright, where is a hole in this cave? Or where is a hole in this mountain? Both here. Just get like uranium in here. Wait, there it is. Just, you know, just uh, take my time getting in here. Oh, it's glow sticks. That's, ugh, that's kind of inefficient. Attention, <sighs> a fortune island treasure has been found. Tech crews, we may have a security leak. Either that or a very persistent treasure hunter. Stand by. Okay, uh, let us move on to the next thing. Thing. So let's do this one again, but with a car that will not, like, you know, try to it try its best to go off the route that it's supposed to be going on. Ah, rank one ninety two. Like that, but we'll continue going. Oh my god, why are we slowing down so much? That was somehow worse! Oh wait, no, it wasn't. Okay. <laughs> um Okay, I'm actually going to go up here. So we're gonna do the drift zone after. We do the jump to get to the, uh, to wherever the, uh, the extra thing is. Wherever it is. I don't, I don't know exactly where it is. Because I can't tell, because it's, again, can't fucking see anything. Game. <sighs> yes, the northern lights are cool, but, like... Really, I would love to be able to see. So I can't see where the marker is for the thing. No. Let's just rewind. Going further, obviously. Oh, really? No. Let's go a little bit further to the left. Still further to the left. Still further to the left. Still further to the left. Okay. We're probably gonna overshoot it. That's always nice. Fuck. No. We went right over it, but we're gonna overshoot it. Fuck me. Oh, come on! Like, right fucking next to it. Oh, uh, how? Oh, was that... I think I... It's too much. Too much power. Oh, come on! We went right next to it! Oh, this is a pain in the ass. And now we're completely fucking off. Oh, for fuck's sake! I hate these boards. That's too much. Oh my fucking god. 
Ugh! How are we still too far over? Oh, come on! I was right fucking next to it! Thank you. <sighs> Still night, which is always, which is always wonderful. Okay, let's just uh, let's head over here, I guess. Do this drift zone. Well, we have that done. This is the uh, bigger corner right here. Come on, so cut the fucking corner. What was that? You have arrived at your destination. <sighs> fucking god damn it, All right. How good is that? It was like two stars. Whatever. Um okay, so we have another Another dirt racing track here, which should help a lot. Getting to the next section. Ugh. Uh, okay. Okay, let's, uh, let's get going then. Let's keep using this thing. Why does it have to be night still? And raining. Absolutely hate it. Hate the night. And the rain. It really doesn't help. Ugh, okay. I love all the people just passing me with ease. It's so good. It's just wonderful that people can just do that. People can just pass without even like having to try, really. They can still just get away, basically. You I mean, didn't I say that the AI was supposed to be terrible at dirt racing? in general that a human player would always win I don't know I did say that in some cases it's not really true I mean obviously in some cases it's not true but still you know you think you think that these guys just like would would be doing so much worse than they currently are. That's that's sort of what I'm saying. Fuck me. Uh Get the corner, hit the wall, basically spin out, hit the wall again. It's good. Ouch. I made up one position in an entire lap. <sighs> Can make up another position. Let's see if I hit them. Generally, I can go past them. And maybe this sort of thing. If you hit them on like a road race, it doesn't really allow you to make an easy pass. But if you hit them here, you can generally get a, a good, good like easy pass. 
Come on! It's not okay. God damn it. Fourth! Fuck off, man. Hey, I have to do more stuff. Woo! Man! Am I so glad that I have to do so much more of this? Jeez. Okay, um, so there's a... For fuck's sake. God, not this fucking shit again. Mm, it's gotta be one on a roof. It's gotta be everywhere. It gotta be fucking out of your reach. Fuck you for even trying. This isn't gonna fucking go anywhere. Ah! Fuck me. Fucking cliff right here. Oh, goddamn room. Fuck off this shit, dude. God damn it, not this shit again. This one should be relatively easy, but, you know. The game doesn't like that. So it's not. It's fucking impossible. Uh, isn't this wonderful? God damn it! Fuck you, influence boards. Oh, I can I teleport there? I don't know where this is. Good, now I gotta fucking what the hell? Of course. Alright, let's go this way then. Alright, is that three stars? Come on! Where is this going? It's going down there. Alright. Is that on the mountain? Oh, that's... Turn! Go the correct direction. Fucking mountain. Go! Okay. That like three stars. Oh, it's two. God damn it. Alright, fine. We're at a we're at a dirt race. Apparently I didn't see before, but whatever, we'll do it. Maybe we can actually get first this time. do we have all right we have a lot of stuff in here but I'll just stick with this do you really Fucking dumb. 
Okay. Yep. The problem is I don't have anything to talk about now. A little disappointing, you know? Boom. Let's just keep going now. Let's keep going. I think it's a slight result of several things that I have nothing to talk about. It's uh, me getting slightly salty in the past few minutes, uh, along with me just, you know, not really having anything to talk about. What the fuck? <laughs> the thing really should not be quicker than me. It's an 80 fucking year old car. Not, but come on. This thing is like good, and that's not. Alright. This stupid water. Alright, this is the, uh, the end of the race, which is nice. Always nice. Okay, that was, okay, maybe I, maybe I, uh, braked a little bit early for that, but who cares. Still won. Alright, we're close to announcing qualifiers for the next round, which means we're close to the final 12 for the Leviathan and the Kraken, which means you... <clears throat> which means... I should let you focus, sorry. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh come on. Uh okay, so oh, we have more we have more dirt races. Let's just let's just do dirt races, because they give me a lot more points than doing those random other ones which literally like don't give anything. And we only have two more treasures left, so hopefully there will be enough races that we can just kinda do it. We also haven't done any street races in a while and there there have been a couple more of those, so that's quite nice. And we should be getting more just in general after we deal with, or after we get to the next round. Ooh. Okay. Ah, good, another rally race starting on or another dirt racing race starting on, you know, asphalt. Road pavement. Good. Alright, let's keep, just, just keep going. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, come on. What if we didn't help? Oh, that's, that's a miss. Oh! You know, sometimes you get used to how lax Horizon 3 can be in the Goliath. You know, the only fucking race I do anymore. So, you know. You say, well... Fuck's sake! Fucking hell!
And I said this car was good. And it is. I just suck. That's that's the truth there. Okay, let's just uh, keep going, you know. Just keep keep pushing past these two plebs, and you know, eventually get in first. But that'll probably never happen because I keep falling positions and I keep crashing the walls because they won't break hard enough. You know, I think whoever did the tune for this thing didn't necessarily listen to the... I know it's a three, but I can't think of a third one. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess. The three things you always need to upgrade on a car. And that's tires, gearbox, and brakes. I think they may have slacked a little bit on those brakes. Or, you know, the, the max brakes in this thing aren't good enough. Oh my god. Fuck me. I'm in seventh again. I want to finish this race and then immediately be able to do the fucking next treasure, but no. Why would that ever be the case? You have to get 7th! Or fucking whatever I end up getting. Just, 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 come on. Still need a break. Urgh. going past more of them pass more pass more pass more they don't break enough because you went over the jump too quickly in quotes you know they're always like break before the jump and I'm like I don't want to do that because that's fucking stupid Yep, I had enough room to break there. Fuck. I don't even know if I could have actually... Go! How... Ow, I don't understand how those fucking things can basically take it, like, through a corner without sliding out. It's literally what those fucking things do. God damn it, I missed a fucking checkpoint again! Fuck. Sake. I thought you really meant to go through them, but it's so annoying. Damn it. It wasn't second, and then it just fell. I don't know if I do that. It takes such a long time to get back into first. Or second. Or whatever. Get back in the position I just lost. Let's go slightly around. Catch up. Fuck! Instead of going around the edge. I prefer not to do that, but that's just kind of what happened. the finish and it turns out I'm faster oh <sighs> first place holy shit is that enough to get where I need to be I don't know because it shows me this first oh okay that was more than enough <sighs> all right um I think this one might be kind of a pain, but whatever. Hey, Nitro. 
According to this top secret file on the classified Horizon Fortune Island project, phase 9 is underway. Pure instructions. Korea surprised with this new performance car. Sting the mountain speed trap for all three stars. Okay, so and on the subject of sensitive fine. intelligence, I'm letting all the qualifiers for the second last round of the Island Conqueror know. Our deciding race is now two deciding races. You can thank me when you qualify. You did say that, didn't you? Already, like, whatever. Anyways, uh, let's head back to the festival because I don't think I have this car. Uh, so it said uh, um, Korea, uh, or like, it said Korea. So obviously it's like, like a Honda or Kia or something like that. Or oh, Honda, I think, is Japanese. Hyundai. <laughs> That's stupid. Anyways, uh, the, the actual uh, car. Actually, I, don't, I need to look at and see if I have it. That might be slightly important. Um, is the... I don't know where... I don't actually think it's anywhere... I definitely don't have it. Okay, so it is in fact the Kia Sting, er, because you know the 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 clue had Sting in it, so it's like, yeah, we're all creative here. Um, yeah. So this thing, uh, you need to get apparently a hundred thirty in a speed trap, which, yeah, that's. I mean, it's not really the. Uh, I mean, it, it, you wouldn't think it'd be that difficult, but, uh, I mean, I do need to upgrade it significantly, so, yep, let's spend more money on a, on another tune, isn't that always fun? Okay, so uh, we need uh, to go in here, upgrades, find new tunes, uh, race max, sure, I think we'll go with that one. Uh, apparently the people who uh, put this guide here that I'm looking at uh, got it to 873. This is a little bit better than that, it's also more expensive, but I'm not really worried about that too much um so yeah let's just uh continue on to get to the next part because I, I i don't know hopefully this will be good okay so the mountain speed trap which i think was pretty obvious by the by the whole thing so the mountain speed trap i don't know what that means that's a speed zone. Oh, this is a speed trap. Is that it? Mountainside. What? How? Okay, whatever. Let's. No, I meant to fast travel there. So let's just uh, take the corner and then go straight on from there. Uh, is this the correct direction? I think it is. Okay. Let's just get going. God. Alright. Alright, we are not gonna get it. Fuck's sake. Alright, you know, if it. Why is this corner so sharp? And there we go. Hey Nitro. Solution received. Transmitting coordinates. If we ever do a car theme trivia night or scavenger hunt, you have to promise to be on my team. I mean, I'm not opposed to that, I guess. Okay, so it's down here. Uh it is on one of the islands, obviously. Actually, I guess it could technically be over here, but it is in fact on one of the islands, so uh, I think we'll just kind of, we'll just use this thing, because it's not 
it'll it'll probably be fine. Okay, so let's uh, go here. I don't know if we can go through this ocean -y area to get down there, but we'll see. Uh, okay, so we have to get like fucking way out there. Oh God. Okay. Uh, all right. No. God. Why? Puts me back up here. God damn it. Fucking serious right now. Ugh. So down here enter in a sort of normal way and then head fucking directly to the goddamn right uh, or, or not so much that direction just head to this island and then we'll figure out where we're going from there what the hell is there like actually people racing what the hell is happening uh, okay, so it's okay. It's turn. It's about like right here-ish. There it is. Another fortune island. All right. Horizon. Treasure hunters, you have one more chance. One more chance. At this rate, I would suggest you wait with radios on and engines running. Alright, well then, let us go back to a, another dirt race. Those seem to be really helpful. Uh, let's just go. Again, obviously we're not using that. We are going for a rally car which we will switch over to a different one to switch it up which we'll switch to switch it up yep all right let's uh come on the Subaru 2005 Subaru and we will just continue on like this until we can get the last part which I don't exactly know if, uh, I don't know if this last part is like, uh, like if we have to do the, the other races first, or if this is only like, I don't know. This is going to be a nice long episode. <laughs> I can tell you that much right now. But at least we're on the last section, basically. Ah, good, another dirt race where we are mostly on road. Though some of these cars have like the full on like rally tires on top of it. Or, you know, that sort of thing. I mean, it's more like endurance racing than rally. It's like Dakar. These I oh. these are a little bit better than these sort of lap races. I definitely like these a lot more than than lap races. The sort of point to point. Okay, well we still hit the checkpoint. <laughs> so chickens. Uh, you know, hit a little, little corner, you know. Get going. Okay, let's just uh, move that along, you know. You know. Sure, go. I guess, I don't know. I may be a little bit tired as well, you know. 
because apparently I decided to fall asleep at like 2 a.m. yesterday, this morning. <laughs> and I still somehow woke up at like 7, which was not, not the greatest. I didn't mean to fall asleep at 2 in the morning. It just kind of happened. It happens when you're playing Fallout. And you're playing a part that you don't want to leave. Fucking... Dima's memories and all that shit. It's so fucking annoying. If I'm being brutally honest. The stupid, like... Puzzles and all that. Like, ugh. I mean, it's sometimes fun, but like, the last one is just... Is just not okay. Anyways, we have completed that. So we got 4,000 influence. Good. Ah, the classic rally tee. Alright, so we need, uh... God. Alright, so we need, like, 16,000 more. Which means we need to do quite a bit more than we normally do. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's make this a little bit easier for myself. Uh, let's get a, uh, car mastery. Oh. I mean, I guess that helps. <laughs> Didn't realize that I had, uh, all of these done. <laughs> Uh, well, let's also do some wheel spins. Actually, we'll, we'll, we'll do that later. Okay, um, next, so we need to do dirt races, specifically. Uh, there are significantly less of those now, but, uh, there's still, there's still a few more that we can do, at least, to use that perk a bit. Which will probably stay, I, I believe it'll stay forever, until we can, you know, until we've, uh, completed all that. Alright, let's just, let's go, then, I guess. Might start putting some more perks on basically every car that we drive. I mean, oh, I don't know where my list of cars is. I kind of... I made a list of all the cars that I... Would end up... Or that I wanted to use the most. And I don't know where that ended up. So... You know, we may be in a slight, slight pickle. Just kind of trying to figure out all the cars that I would use. Hopefully it was the, the Volvo for the trucks. <laughs> I don't know, it probably was, knowing me. I really like Mercedes, but sometimes it's not enough for me to choose most of their cars. Like, they're good all around, but they, they're just outclassed in most areas. The wall. I think okay. So I think lap races give more influence than uh, than just the regular races. It may also be uh, completely based on like like uh, the distance of the race or like how long it takes. Which that last one was a pretty short one. So may it may just be like may just be that race was super short and this one might be slightly longer. Or the one we did before was slightly longer, quite a bit longer, I guess. And that one was like almost two minute laps, so. Whereas this one's like a minute lap. Uh, and then, yeah, the other one was over in like a minute and a half. I don't know. I guess it just kind of depends on what, what, we, what, what happens there. Need some good skills going on here. You know, some, some good skills. Ah, all right. Well, we kind of lost that. That's good. You know, 160,000 points. Get some, get some of those back. I think those are actually uh, cheaper in this game. I think, or the, those are easier to get. Yeah, those are definitely easier to get in this game. It's so normally be like a hundred thousand, but now I think it's like. 50 probably to get to get one of those to get to get one of the full circles yeah because in uh in horizon 3 it was a hundred thousand that must be fifty thousand which is nice because that means you get them a little bit easier and it's not like skills are harder to come by in this game not not really at all um if I'm being honest, they're, they're still quite easy to come across, it's just, you know, 
I mean, I guess, I guess what they're saying is that they're trying to make it easier for you to get, like, so you can upgrade, like, all of the cars to their maximum potential. Uh, that, is, that is kind of the, uh, the question there. Oh, I should probably see if I can look at some Forza Edition cars so that they're, like, credit boosters, maybe, maybe a little bit with that. Help me out there. I don't know if that's a thing. All right. So we finished that race good with a good amount of skills, probably two. That also helps, I assume. Okay, what do we got? Nice, 6,000. All right, it's not, not amazing, but we'll get there. So we have less than 10,000 left to go. Okay, um, what's next? What's next? Uh, we have uh, another dirt race up here. <sighs> Alright, let's do this. Let's get going. Why? Aha! Ugh. Oh. Time to relax a bit. Okay, yet another yet another dirt race. Uh, I think after this we will go on to the more road racing ones because we still have a few of those left. And uh, uh, I think only about two more races after this one we should have it completed. Then uh, we won't really need to worry about that anymore. Fucking god damn it. Let's just go back a little bit further. Yep, 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 yep. That was, a, that was a good drift right there. Good drift. All right, that was, a, that was a good, a good bump. Another good bump. <laughs> Yee. Nice drift tap there. Another drift tap there. The old taparoo. And he's just not gone. That's a that's a nice fucking drift smash. It's another one. That should be a skill. Except for it wouldn't because then you lose all your points. <laughs> drift smash! It'd actually probably be like, oh, you're drifting into a thing, but that, that's more like sideswipe, isn't it? There it is. It looks sideswipe. <laughs> oh, it's Mitsubishi versus Subaru. Who will win? Mitsubishi is mercilessly pummeling me. Like he's some online racer. I actually haven't played much online in this game, mostly because I've been just trying to like complete all this. I, I assume that uh, playing online would be a uh, a good way to like uh, like get a bunch of money and stuff, but I don't know about that. I don't I don't know for sure exactly. All right. Uh... 
All right, so how how close are we? Again. All right, so we're we're about five thousand away ish, you know. So depending on how much we get in this next one, we should be able to get it. So uh, I don't think we have any more row or we don't have any more uh, dirt races. Let's go with uh, this one, and we will get back into not the Koenigsegg. We'll get into something else. Maybe I should look up all the Forts Edition cars in this game and see what they do. That would be that would be kind of smart, wouldn't it? Uh, yes. Let's change cars. So let's go with the. Uh, I was gonna say go with uh, the this one. I said drift skills. There's not really like a good thing in here. I mean, I guess we'll just go with it because it was. I think it was working pretty well. When I was using it a while ago, but maybe I was wrong. I have no idea. Let's just go. See, the problem is I don't know if I'll like do well with this, because if I don't, that means me like doing it or like basically doing more than I really want to. So it's also nice how when the the tires are turned the uh, the body of the car goes through the tires <laughs> no uh... that's a really cool alpha right there is a really sick paint job ah yes the wheel spin. I mean it is rear wheel drive oh yeah so, um, so in, uh, Horizon 3, uh, I am, what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm going through all of my cars in a way, like, I'm, I'm, like, making sure they're upgraded to where, you know, I want them to be, I guess, and then I'm taking them through the Goliath and seeing, you know, if I want to keep them, which sometimes is not the greatest test, but, you know, I, I, do still use it and it's it seems to work relatively well in finding things I actually want to keep. And even if I don't really do well or end up crashing a lot in the Goliath, I still keep some of them just because I'm like, oh yeah, but I still want this, you know, because it's good for this or it's, you know, whatever. And uh, because I had uh, too many Ford Raptors and didn't really want to get rid of, like, any of them, I made one of them into a rear wheel drive Raptor. <laughs> Which is the single stupidest thing, but it's it's there and it's certainly funny. <laughs> uh, it it didn't exactly work out the greatest, but I believe I still have it. So I mean, I could sell it to whatever poor staff decides to buy a rear wheel drive Raptor. Uh, I don't know. I just I just like whatever. I mean, I think I mean it's it's not bad. Like the problem is. You can't upgrade the Raptor a lot, so you can't, like, give it a ton more power to make up for the fact that it's not all-wheel drive, so... So you, you literally have the same amount for both of them, and it's, it's not a lot. That's kind of my problem with Horizon 3, is that there's, there's, a, lot less, there's a lot less upgrading freedom than there seems to be in, in this game and, in, I don't know, maybe other games, but... Maybe other Forza games, but you know. That was terrible. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I got enough. Probably, no, no, definitely not. <laughs> ah, man. Well, it looks like uh, next race, basically, no matter what it is, I should get enough points to continue on. Except for I just won't be using this car. Uh, so there is the uh, there's this race here, the Westwood Wharf. And I'm going to grab. Uh, okay, we'll just do this down here. Change car. So we're going to go for. I forgot what I was going to go for. Oh, now I remember. <laughs> 
and uh, we'll just go for the Aventador. And again, we're not going to do Forces on Live. I've been recording this for way too long. Uh, all right, I have I've definitely been recording this episode for way too long. So uh, let's just kind of try to do the best we can to finish this off. In as best a way as possible. <laughs> Alright, I think I just need to do like, I don't know, probably like six, I mean I, I can, I mean I can probably do like tenth or better really, and still probably win, and still probably get to the next round, jeez, god this thing is amazing, even though it doesn't have any like interesting paint job on it, it's, it's just beautiful. Frosty Penguin. Gotta get going, you know, three laps. Oh, that's a wall. Well, this thing's four-wheel drive does help out quite a bit. Has someone ever built, like, a rear-wheel drive, like, modern Lamborghini? Like, any Lamborghini that starts off as all-wheel drive and they just turn it into rear-wheel drive or something. I don't, I don't think there's many that can be turned into uh, front-wheel drive, but that would certainly be funny. Like I said, I just want I just want there to be a lot of like upgrading freedom. Like, you can do just so much more than you can do in Horizon 3. Like a lot of time with so many of those vehicles, you just couldn't do anything to them. I understand the Warthog was like a like a like a thing or a thing that's already in a game, but you just couldn't do anything to it. You could make it slightly more powerful, and you could change its wheels, and that's basically all you could fucking do. You could, ch yeah. You could change the rims. It's just like, oh, why do I even want this thing if it's not gonna be like? If if people cannot make like, if if people cannot like do different things with the same car. Heads up. With that race result, now that you've qualified, you might want to clear a space in your schedule. I mean, a large space. Say, a Leviathan, uh... Calling all Fortune Island treasures. <laughs> this is it. Your final mission. The last phase of the search. Okay. The instructions are... This house shines like a star. Jump to it in a classic muscle car. All right, so that was kind of a. Uh... For the finale of the Island Conqueror, yep. due to a slight jurisdictional dispute between Alex and Rebecca, which I will not go into right now, <laughs> we have two races to decide our champion: meet the Leviathan and the Kraken. Okay, so I'm gonna do this on my own because it doesn't really have any bearing on uh... Kraken-sized space. <laughs> what we're doing currently. So um, obviously, it's it's quite a quite an obvious. Uh, quite an obvious uh, clue. So, well, at least for the at least for the vehicle. So you need a classic muscle car, which I have probably several of those. I haven't really been looking for classic muscle cars, but you know it's likely that I have quite a few of them. Uh, okay. Uh, filter. Classic muscle, and yeah, we have quite a few of them. Okay, uh, let's go for. God, these are all awful. Um, oh, well. Uh, I guess we have our winner, the Horizon Edition car. <laughs> we 
which means it's already upgraded to like at least S1. So we need to take it to a danger sign. Uh, it said something about a light. The house or the house that shines like a star, which I mean, you know, it's it's a lighthouse, you know, that type of thing. And then uh, you need to drive off the danger sign over there, which I assume it's this one. No, is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Okay, uh, let's just go here, I guess. What? Oh, I guess I guess I can figure out what that is. Okay, um, let's just go. This thing isn't really prepped for off-road. It's definitely prepped for, you know, muscle car things. Oh, God. I think we just need to take it off this... Bruh! <laughs> Counts! What? See, I thought that was a really hard one. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right then. Transmitting coordinates. At least we can give you some exercise. Okay, uh, so obviously it's there. And, uh, it... I can't exactly tell, but we'll just kind of head over there right now. I'm just going to use this thing, because... I don't feel like changing it, and it doesn't really matter that much. Like, I mean, it isn't. Like I said, it isn't prepped for the off-road. It's not like a pickup truck, but, you know. Ooh! This thing has the NASCAR tires. Cool. All right. Um, I'm going to go into this general area. Uh, so it's... Fucking, where is it? So it's like... I guess it's like, there's like a thing. I mean, there's a, there's a bonus point right there. I think it's on that island. Oh, I think I see it. I can figure out how to get on the island. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Falcon! Oh. Damn it. How do we get on this island? Even from the other side. Eventually, we'll try to go down and get that, because that is, uh... Oh, crap. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna hear this a bit. How do we get on this island? What? How do we get on this island? There's no, like... Ugh, what? Yee. Okay, well, obviously this isn't the right car. Uh, that's not the right button either. Uh, okay, well, let's, uh, let's grab something a little bit bigger. Uh, yep. Didn't really expect to have to do this, but, uh... Let's look, let's look below it. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, obviously it's not it. Um, oh god, alright. Uh, I don't know why they say Hurricane, but I think I can probably do it with the Koenigsegg. Okay, um, so the goal is to jump to the island. Fuck me. Chickens! Alright, uh, okay, so we need to be over here, I guess, like, around there-ish, sort of. I don't, I don't know what we need to do, I feel we need to jump off something, but... Okay, so we need to go that way. I guess we just jump off that ramp, basically, or, or that. No, I jump off that. Nah, there's, there's a, there's a shield there. Oh, there's a road leading directly to it. Oh, that's where we need to go. I assume this will work. <laughs> it says Hurricane. Lamborghini Hurricane for some reason. But, uh... I think we can just use this probably. That's a miss. <laughs> oh, God. Alright. One thing that we need to do... Oh, 
damn it. Okay. We can possibly do with a little bit less speed. Fuck. Uh, we're still at not a good angle. Just... Oh, fuck me. Alright, I screwed that up. Alright, let's just, uh... Oh! Who cares? Ah, yes, we're going the wrong way. Fucking what? Why is it so large? And why is it not even close to the island? Jeez. Oh, come on. Why? Oh, what? <laughs> come on. No! <sighs> come on! sake it's not enough Is that so far? Why is that the wrong direction, basically? Fucking hell. Good God. The Fortune Island treasure hunt is complete. The festival vaults are officially empty. From now on, if you need to borrow money, I know a driver you can talk to. No! Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me right now? Really? I can fucking break it. <sighs> Anyways, uh, that is the end of the treasure hunt. Okay, so that is the end of the uh, Fortune Island uh, treasure hunt thing. So uh, uh, next time we come back, we will be doing Drift Club 2.0 because uh, that's basically all we have left to do. Uh, there is the Leviathan and the Kraken, but I will probably do that off screen because, you know, we'll, we'll see about that. And the next time we will also be doing all of the uh, all the wheel spins over here cuz i don't have time in this episode